poco más arriba, ese niño. Así. American-born Latino film director Robert Rodriguez and his Venezuelan-born wife and producer Elizabeth Avalon began their careers with El Mariachi, the lowest budgeted film to be released by a major Hollywood studio. From these humble beginnings, they've gone on to make several films including Desperado and the Spy Kids series. People ask, how do you always get this incredible cast to come and work on your movies over and over again? It's because they're never working. <laughs> they never feel like they're coming down and working. It's fun. You know, they work on movies and then they'll come play on one of my movies. Their new film, starring Antonio Banderas, continues the El Mariachi series where the film Desperado left off. It's called Once Upon a Time in Mexico, and it's sort of a surreal take on Mexico and its culture and its iconic imagery. We continue uh, being very faithful to the premise of the character, which is that this character is created from action, is created from movement. Uh, it's not a discursive or a speech character. It's, it's basically a, a classical hero in, in that aspect. He speaks very little and moves very, very, very smoothly. Oh yeah, it might get a wee bit dangerous. Hang on! What do you mean, oh that? The first time I met her, I was looking for someone to play counter Antonio. I want to hire someone Latin. At that time, there was no Jennifer Lopez, there was no Salma Hayek. There really, and this was only you know eight years ago, there was no one. So I had to find someone from scratch so that if I ever needed a star again that's Latin, I would have a star to go to. And she's been my Latin star since then. These films are always exciting and challenging and funny. And I always see him having such a good time putting me through hell, you know? And he's, I see him smiling when I'm struggling or terrified of something he's making me do. And in the moment I go, you know, you, I'm gonna get you for this. I can't believe you're doing this to me. Very physically demanding, but it looks fantastic because you can see they're there, they're swinging, and they're on the side of this building. And there's, and that's it. We're in Mexico, man. There's no stage, there's no pads because we're looking straight down at the, at the street, and it, it's a really fantastic scene. Do you want to know the secret to winning? One has to rig the game. I'm El Cucuy, and El Cucuy in Spanish, in Mexican, is, is in Mexican folklore, that's the boogeyman. You know that old man I killed in your village? What if your whole village was next? So Robert incorporated that into the movie and it came out just fantastic. I'm here for my guitar. The first reason is because Robert, I mean, I just felt safe. I knew that he was going to make it worth it. And uh, just working with Antonio, you know, and in a movie where actors like Willem Dafoe and Johnny Depp, and, you know, it's great. You know, you know you're surrounded by very talented people. And I guess I have no choice. But I've killed you all. All the movies I've always done have been somewhat fantasy, and this is no exception. And uh, I think that's why people like it, because it's, a, it's somewhere you can go. You know, they see, well, I, maybe that's what it's like in Mexico. <laughs> and it's not, but it's, but it sure is a nice place to dream about. Once Upon a Time in Mexico is now playing in theaters and is rated R.